What's up, y'all? Dame Taylor back with another video. You know I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. It's what I do, you know. So I want to tell y'all about this person that I saw at Nam that we was hanging out with. Um, and this will be a tip on how not to network. This was this is the most annoying person to network with ever. Let me look up the actual definition of networking, y'all. Networking definition. Okay, so it says the definition of networking is the action or process of interacting with others to exchange information and develop professional or social contacts, all right? So, I'm from LA, born and raised in the music industry. I come from generations of people in the music industry. One of the first things I learned, especially from my manager who used to work for Interscope, was how to network. And I learned from just watching him. Like it was natural, it was organic. Like you gotta understand that like networking is an opportunity, but networking is an exchange between two human beings. With me being a professional for so long, I see that a lot of people network without understanding that they're humans connecting with humans. They get so consumed with the opportunity that they forget that they're humans talking to other humans. For me, I don't network. Like, I don't intentionally network. I talk to people as humans, and I don't care who you are or what you offer or what you do. I'm going to connect with you as a good human, looking to connect with a good human. And if we can connect as humans, then if there's an opportunity for you to learn about what I do or me learn about what you do, then that's level two. Then level three is if there's an interest, it'll be natural. But I never lead with who I am or what I've done. I always lead with who I am as a person. You know what I'm saying? I never lead with a producer music industry. That's just me. A lot of people it might not work for, but for me, it works because of my confidence. Like if it's meant for me to work with you, bro, it's gonna happen regardless. And it might take six months or a year, but I'm willing to take the time to do it organically than to try to force something, especially being if you're a person that can provide opportunity, there's millions of other people that want that person's space as well, right? So I'm at NAM. you know what I'm saying? When I go to NAM, like I said in my last video, I usually just go to just see people I know and hang out with them, you know what I'm saying? I like to just mob around NAM with the homies, like people I know. And then when you with people you know, they know people. And so they gonna introduce you to their people. And then I know people and I'm gonna introduce my people to the to the people I know. It's just all natural, you know what I'm saying? Like my brother is like really connected in the industry. So when I hang out with him, he's gonna introduce me to everybody he knows just by default. And if, I, if he's with me, I'm gonna introduce him to everybody I know, you know what I'm saying? And it's just gonna be, this is my brother not he produces or whatever and it's just a natural thing right so while i'm at nam on the second day i'm starting to see a lot of the homies that i know you know what I'm saying? so i got this og i got one of my ogs he's literally connected with everybody he knows everybody from dave pensado he knows all of the top industry people like all of the grammy award winning platinum producers who work with dr dre who work with michael jackson was working with Beyonce, Destiny's Child, like my OG literally knows everybody. And because I be with him, he just introduced me to everybody he know, which is like the older, they're older than me. So he brings me into a lot of circles, you know what I'm saying? Just because we connect on a human level, which is dope. So he introduced me to this girl who came out here from Canada and he talked highly of her before I even met her. He's like, yo, I wanna introduce you to the songwriter. I want y'all to link up. Um, she used to work with Timberland back in the day and she used to work with Diane Warren. Like she's super dope. So when you when you network and you got a good homie, like if, if you one of my homies and I really fuck with you, I'm gonna fuck with who you fuck with. I don't even care. Like if you vouch for that person, I'm gonna fuck with them before I even meet them. That's just how I am, you know what I'm saying? And the way I am, if you, you, you mess with me, you're gonna mess with whoever I mess with because that's what my job is, my reputation. I'm only gonna speak on quality people, you know what I'm saying? So if he speaks on this songwriter, I'm already excited to meet her. I already fuck with her. I already gonna give her my number. I'm down to do whatever just because you know him. So cool, the girl comes up. I actually meet her, sweet girl, like sweet, sweet girl. like. She know how to be human, right? She got a big smile. 
She's like, oh, I do, I do hugs. I don't do handshakes. You know what I'm saying? So it was an organic interaction. It was super dope. So then she tells me this story about how she drove down here from Canada. She's down here for a few months. She wants to network. Timberland was about to sign her. She got into an accident. She lost her voice. So I'm like, I'm sympathizing with her. Like, damn, that's dope. But she's like, but I'm here in uh, Nam. I'm a songwriter. I'm trying to make some records. Let's work. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it was a dope, dope interaction. Super, super dope interaction. So I'm like, oh, yeah, let's definitely work. We exchange numbers. We follow each other on Instagram. All love. Dope connection. Everything my man vouched for her. Everything he spoke on. Valid. Legit. Checked out. So then, now we clicked up. So now I'm rolling with him. She rolling with us. And when you mobbing in, in a place like Nam, you move in a crowd and you're going to start seeing more people. So now literally it's like, say, let's just say it's three of us. So you got all the people I might know, all the people he might know, all the people she might know. So when we walk in, and mind you, it's maybe four or five other people with us. So say if he's one of my, my OG, say he sees somebody he know to this, this crowd of six people that we with, he going to introduce everybody to the six people. Right. So now that person hanging with us. Now we 70. So let's just say I see two of my homies. I'm going to introduce my two homies to her, to him, to the new person who with us and the other people who with us. So now we eight deep or nine deep or whatever. So let's just say she see two people. Same thing. She's going to introduce her people to all of us. You know what I'm saying? So now we're going to be 10, 11 deep walking through Nam or standing in a big crowd in the middle of Nam, just kicking it, chopping it up, like taking pictures telling stories, laughing, whatever. That's human networking, right? So now, you know, maybe 30 minutes later, hour later, we probably 10 deep in Nam, standing in a big circle, I think by like engineers way on the other side of the hall and producers is coming up. Gang of producers is coming up, you know what I'm saying? So now all of the producers at this girl's meeting, she telling the same story. She's telling the same story over and over and I'm hearing it. So like I'm literally seeing her tell the same story to this producer, get his number. Tell the same story to this producer, get his number. Say telling the story to this producer, getting his number. So at this point, she just she networking, she taking advantage of networking, getting contacts and all of that. But as a producer, you want exclusivity. You want to be able to work with an artist, and it's just y'all. But at the same time, she got the right to network. So this is the networking tip, man. If you're going to tell the same story and network to multiple people the same way, please make sure that you're not around the same people because now you're losing value because it's kind of like you a robot. It's on autopilot. I'm never going to network to 10 people the same exact way. I'm never going to have some rollout story for 10 different people because you're not even taking the time to understand that those 10 different people require different information from you but she's literally rolling out the same exact story the same way she did to me to all of these other people and so i'm i'm hearing what she's saying but i'm also thinking of what my my home my og how he introduced me she was about to be signed at timberland she was working with diane warren so i'm thinking okay well, she probably dope so maybe she got the right to work with all these producers so in my mind i'm still thinking she probably still dope like so cool like it is what it is but it got to a point where it just like she didn't realize that like she had now three or four of the producers that she networked with and she's still talking to new producers and collecting information the same way and so it's just kind of awkward because, yo, like if you're going to network to 10 different people, and create 10 different opportunities, you got to position yourself and pull people to the side. Like, so if you talk to me, then if you want to talk to somebody else, step to that way over there, get their information over there, step to that way, get their information over there. So that way people ain't hearing your airwaves and hearing that you pretty much got a pitch. You like you ultimately got a pitch that automatically just takes away the like the genuine of you networking to humans you know what i'm saying so now so boom nam is over we go to a restaurant you know what i'm saying so now we're sitting at this restaurant and it's probably like maybe four hours later and she sits across from me it's like 20 people at this table at this restaurant and she sit across from me and she must have forgot that she told me her story so now she repeated her story over to me 
She literally repeated her whole story over. Like she didn't told so many people the same story that I'm sitting here four hours later and she literally telling me the same fucking story over. So now I'm like, oh yeah. Oh, so you talking about the car thing. You already said, oh yeah, you told me yeah. So you just going with it or whatever, right? So then an hour later, she tells me the same story again. So, so now I'm just like, so now I'm like, okay, now she getting really annoying. But then two new producers come and she talking to the producers next, telling them the same pitch at the table at the restaurant. So I said, so I said, hey, your records better be hard. She's like, oh, I got some really good stuff. I said, send me some music right now. Send me some MP3s right now. All right. So she said, okay. So she pulls out her phone. And then so I'm thinking, okay, she about to send me some shit. We talking about working. We was actually talking about working that night or the ne or the next day. So I'm like, yeah, send me some records. She's like, oh, I would love to, right? So then she pulled out her phone and she's like, well, just to let you know, I haven't recorded any new material. All of my stuff is from 2014. So I'm like, okay, all right. So you ain't even making music. Oh, well, I have some new exclusive stuff, but I can't release it. I was like, let me hear it. Oh, I can't, I can't let you hear it. Like it hasn't, it's not mixed, it's not mastered. So I'm like, no, nah, look, I know the like the recording process, the songwriting process. I just want to hear roughs. I just want to hear where you at, hear your style, if we're going to work. I just want to hear where you at. Oh, well, um, I actually don't have any music that I'm recording yet or whatever. So now she's making all these excuses. She's making all of these like disclaimers and all of this stuff. And so I'm like, all right, cool. Well, just send me some stuff in 2014. Oh, oh that stuff. Uh, oh. So now I'm thinking about all these producers' numbers that she didn't got. She literally didn't talk to 20, 30 maybe 40 producers got so now she got 40 producers thinking they about to work with a dope ass songwriter that worked with timberland and and was working with diane warren this girl ain't even recording no music in nine years right so now you out here networking now you out here fake networking for people who then flew out here thought they didn't met a dope songwriter thinking they about to connect and you ain't even in the studio working so you ain't even in the studio working. So now at this point, you just collecting leads. You just collecting information, right? So this is where females be messing up. This is where females be messing up. Because all of these producers were dudes, right? Half of them, if not more, gonna hit her up probably because they think she cute, right? So now if you ain't got no music, they still gonna have you come to the studio and they just gonna fuck on you. So now, so now when you go to the studio and you find yourself in compromising situations, it's because you ain't even networking for the music. You ain't even trying to really get in the studio and work. And from the sounds of it, I don't even think she was as good as my OG was making her out to be. Because when she starts speaking on her music, it just didn't even seem like her music was good. You can tell when somebody make good records and when they don't. Because then she starts talking about like how she's really good with like arranging melodies and like her lyric game ain't really that strong and all of this stuff. So now I'm just like, all right, you, you, I'm looking at you a little different. You know what I'm saying? So the one thing I hate about networking in person is the whole exchange of phones. Hit me up on Instagram. I got to follow you. Follow me back. She's going to be the first person I unfollow. And the only reason why I'm showing her some love and some respect is because my OG fuck with her. You know what I'm saying? But I'm about to unfollow her ass in maybe about four or five days because that's fake networking to me. That's hella fake networking to me. So like, it's like, I can't even get excited about working with you, even if she was dope, knowing that you getting 40 beats from a bunch of producers that probably ain't even as good as me, right? But now instead of you focusing in on me as a producer, now you got to email a beats or you getting beats texted from a bunch of people. Some dudes want to fuck on you. Some dudes going to want to drink with you. Some dudes going to want to smoke with you. Some dudes going to want to wife you. Some dudes going to want to date you. I want to make music. That's it. I don't want to do shit else. You know what I'm saying? So you could tell she was networking because she just wanted the attention. You know what I'm saying? Totally fine. Totally valid. But lead with that. Lead with that. You know what I'm saying? Don't be out here fake capping, fake networking, talking about you trying to really get in the stew and cook up. And you ain't did no song since 2014. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all be doing that. I done seen a lot of dudes do that too. A lot of y'all be doing that shit, man. See, this is why... It's, it's important 
it's important for y'all to be in situations where you ready. Y'all be on here popping it, but y'all don't even be ready for the opportunities that y'all be popping about. You know what I'm saying? So this is why a lot of y'all come out here from out of town and leave empty handed because y'all don't know how to be human. Y'all be y'all be desperate or y'all be overthinking it or not patient. You know what I'm saying? So you're supposed to plant seeds. You're not supposed to try to like, you know, hit home runs in one day. Like when you network, it's an opportunity to plant a seed and a seed might take months to grow. At times it take a year for a tree to grow sometimes, you know what I'm saying? And so for me, if I meet somebody, like I'm gonna manage or nurture that relationship over years to build a real foundation. I'm not looking for nothing from that person over you know, any time in a short period of time because something that comes fast is gonna end fast. You know what I'm saying? So that's just my thoughts, man. Hella fake networking. I was kind of disappointed. And then not to mention, we went to hella after parties after that. And she was doing the same shit at the after parties too. You know what I'm saying? But that's not my business. But I just wanted to share that with y'all, man. Don't be out here fake networking because the real motherfuckers is going to see through that shit. And while you thinking you're creating for something for yourself, people listening to your sideline conversations on the sideline and you looking hella goofy. So, number one tip, if you want to be goofy and have a script and be on autopilot, Pull people to different corners. Stop giving your pitch in front of the people, you, other people you get your pitch to. Industry Dame is out. I'll let y'all later. Peace.